Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading. It is for Sunday the 28th of March 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with everybody. It is a general reading, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, let's see what we have. Sunday the 28th of March 2021. What is the message people need to hear the most, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message people need to hear the most. Oh, okay, the Caduceus. You will receive news from afar. Now, for me, that can also be over the internet, um, you know, email, uh, technology, but it also feels maybe from a distance. Some kind of news here. Okay, what do we have, please? And I'm going to choose these cards because they're a little bit big to shuffle. <laughs> this is the Druid Tarot deck, really beautiful cards. They're just quite large to handle, and I don't like shuffling the other way. <laughs> okay, what do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides for all signs? Sunday the 28th of March and it is 2021 okay there's card four of pentacles the sun two cards there nine of pentacles and the six of cups It's interesting. I've got the devil reversed as uh, synonymous, but it's the devil energy. It's interesting that that's reversed. We have the princess of cups or the page of cups. Death. Bottom of the deck, we have the chariot. Okay. The devil energy can be a card of attachment, shadow energy, addiction. Um, it's a card generally of instability when it's upright. Uh, it's a, limita a limiting energy, uh, feeling boundaries, restricted, attachments, shadow energy, uh, shadow self. You know, it can be that kind of energy. Um, it feels, I mean, it can be about unhealthy relationships as well in whatever context. I mean, that could be at work, family, friendships, could be in terms of personal relationships. The, the kind of message with the devil is this is an energy of releasing from the limitations. Releasing from a period of instability because there is an opportunity to detach from that now. So I'm going to clarify what this devil is. What is this devil, please? What is this devil? Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. Um, it definitely feels in this energy. I mean, the, the Ace of Pentacles can be career, financial opportunities, moving, relocating, but it is a new beginning energy. It feels in this situation, there's something's about to look up uh, because there's a victory coming, there is success. The Four of Pentacles is also Capricorn energy. The devil is also Capricorn. I'm not saying this is about a Capricorn, but this energy can mean um, being very careful with money because you're going through a period of instability. Something might have happened on the job, career front. Also could be to do with um, you're being careful because of something to do with home or changes in terms of the home dynamic, property, that kind of energy. You might be moving, relocating, for example, for whatever reason. So there's definitely an energy of being, being, having been very careful with money. 
Um, but the, the opportunity to release from this devil energy is forming in the, in the Ace of Pentacles, which is a uh, new career financial opportunity moving, re relocating. Um, so it feels that this is a new abundance coming your way that will allow you to release from some, what, what might have been tough energy. You know, the feeling that you'd never break free of it, you know, um, almost kind of like working within the boundaries that you've been set, but feeling powerless to actually break free of those boundaries, those restrictions that you've been working within and being careful with money finances. And it's generally to conserve, to protect your, you know, things that are of value to your home, your family, your relationships, call it what you will. Because something is about to look up. Um, the Princess of Cups can be a message to do with something that brings joy. You know, the sun is a card of happiness, celebration, joy, uh, feel-good energy. Things are about to look up. Now, with the sun, you sometimes see that child and the horse coming through a barrier. Um, they come through the other side of it. So there's definitely an energy of uh, letting go of what has been a restrictive period in your life. I'm feeling it's either to do with it's something to do with either, like I said, for whatever reason, you're either moving, relocating, or there's some kind of like new career or financial opportunity. I mean, for example, we could move or relocate if there has been changes in terms of relationships, you know? So like I said, that devil could be releasing from something that just wasn't working for you. Um, but similarly, again, could be to do with career finances, whatever this was. The sun is about, things are about to get so much better and that's what that, pa that's what that Princess of Cups, the Page of Cups is all about. Um, the Page of Cups is real positive possibility with the sun energy, the real positive possibility of this new beginning. Um, the pages represent the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. So there's definitely an energy here of things are about to look up. Now the sun is a card of success. Uh, stepping into your life, feeling really good about it. There's a lot of feel-good energies towards the end of this reading. Um, so it's not just about an opportunity coming that is going to make you happy. It is about the effect it has on your internal energy. It's almost kind of like, yes, the sun is shining on this, per on this child, but it's almost kind of like the child is almost like radiating with happiness and joy from within too. It's a real awakening energy of having learned through challenging experiences and come through the other side of a situation and feeling that rebirth, um, taking the wisdom that you've learned forward and being empowered because of it. So it definitely feels in this energy, there's some kind of new opportunity, new message. Again, this can be to do with news. So it feels very, very beautiful indeed. The death card is about endings, uh, deep transformation, deep change, uh, deep life transitions as well. So it, it definitely feels in this energy. I'm going to pull another one for this card before I, I mention what I was going to mention. Yeah. You're breaking free of the devil and claiming a victory over it. And that's what the de that's what the death card is representing. It is representing liberation. Because we do have linked cards here with death and the sun. You know, these cards are very connected in tarot. So there is a great liberation happening where you're stepping into your light and claiming some significant achievement. Victory, getting noticed, being recognized. Um... This can be a card of public recognition as well. You know, it definitely feels in this energy something that has been hard, something that definitely felt you were putting all your energy into and you were feeling the burden and the pressure and the responsibility of a, a particular journey. That journey is coming to an end and you're going to put the difficulty behind you. And that's what that death card is representing. It feels in this situation you're getting back to where you were, you know, that, that Six of Cups, it's a card of joy. 
it can be kind of of revisiting the past in the sense that I'm definitely feeling in this energy getting back to where you were uh, but there's also a card of, of a sign of happy joy happy equilibrium and the things that you've been striving most desperately to protect through time of hardship you know I'm definitely seeing the children here you know this person watching over them this this sense of uh, there's a sense of nostalgia with the six of cups but it definitely feels in this energy that nine of, of pentacles there is greater material wealth um coming your way and that is a significant victory success the nine of pentacles is standing in your own success in your own right now if there has been relationship breakups this is also a card of independence self-worth self-esteem and feeling pretty good about being on their own so either way there is a feeling of getting greater value in life material success self-worth self-esteem and standing in your own um, abundance and um, through hard work and dedication and perseverance there is there is some significant victory coming your way now yes the six of cups can represent somebody from the past being influential in bringing this in so for some of you you know I, I could say you know you might be going back to a job that you once worked at you know you might be going back to a company that you once worked at there may well be an opening for you you know if you weren't happy where you were and um, something changed there was a period of instability that happened um, or you dealt with the devil energy you know you dealt with the devil as a person um, it feels in this situation that maybe some of you are going back to a past a past company I mean um, or a past connection or somebody who you used to work with it can be that kind of energy as well but either way I'm definitely getting this energy of chariot the victory the success this you have two cards of victory here towards the end of the reading and the victory is over challenge it brings a wonderful turning point but it's the effort of you feeling in the driving seat once more of your own life and finding progress and success so it's an absolutely beautiful energy and it starts with this the caduceus you'll receive news from afar <laughs> yeah very nice energy now it's interesting afar can also I'm also getting the past um, it feels that distance of the past as well that I'm getting to for some of you so again it might well be a reconnection however it works out for you but nevertheless there is some significant victory coming your way some significant achievement and you know these cards are feeling really good you know really good towards the end of the reading let's pull a final message <clears throat> final message lovely that it's a golden coin the golden opportunity a new door is opening releasing you from a period of instability yeah so we have yeah it is a transitional time that's what these cards are saying we have otter initiations be open through this transitional time lovely and we have bat listen up you are working through deep soul patterns release any outdated beliefs that surface it's such a lovely energy so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful a wonderful day for you all and i will see you next time thank you